Do I start it? Yeah, I'll do that. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm here with Miss Not Enough or... Or Eric. Or Eric. Whichever. Whatever you want to call him. <laughs> We were gonna do a get ready with me and Nada, but we decided because it's Valentine's Day, we wanted to do a little bit of boy glam for you all. Absolutely. So, if you want yes. to see us get into this gig, keep on watching. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Just making sure that that hits the yellow. Hi, Hi sister. Hey, boo. Okay, let's mask. So we have these HDP pore stamping Black Max Max Mask X. I don't know what it is, but I'm so thankful for my eyes. They actually do like keep like your oils down for the whole day. Oh, I do not know. It says pore stamping mask sheet includes form. You read it. Oh god, girl. Okay. Wait, the front or the back? <laughs> this one. It's just funny because it's like translated <laughs> English, and I love it. Okay. Pore stamping mask sheet includes foams, that's not a word, <laughs> mushroom extract, sodium PCA and Santella Asiatica, sure, extract which are temporarily control the excessive secretion of sebum. So it controls your oil. But I actually do really like it because like you use it and then you find you don't have to like pow pow so much. Mm. I find the only part of my skin that gets really oily is my nose. Yeah, your T zone. How do you feel? Um, luxurious, beautiful. We should tell everybody what we're doing today. Oh, wow. Instead of like the drag queen glam, mm -hmm. instead of not a coming today, we're gonna do like a boy glam. Totally. So, yeah. I just figured like you've had some queens on the show. Um, I figured you needed something a little different. Yeah. And it's Valentine's Day. So, happy Valentine's Day, y'all. So, when you get ready, like as a woman, mm -hmm. do you, um, do you do a mask? Um, I usually do my masks at night. Yeah. Um, in the bath usually. In the tub. Mm -hmm. in I'll the sit tub. for a while and like sweat it out. Yeah. And then um, I usually do like a cleansing mask, kind of like a charcoal one or something. Yeah. And then I'll do a sheet mask to like just really moisturize. Ooh. So you like suck it all out, clean it, and then you like fill it all back up. Yeah. And I then... need to find like a really good like overnight serum or something. I find when I wake up in the morning, my skin's like, like needs some moisture. It's about to, some love. it's dehydrated. Mm -hmm. I was trying to come up with something funny, but <laughs> it's early. It's early. Although this is like when you want me. Like you want me early morning, like mm -hmm. this is when I'm like most creative. Yeah, you know, I love that. Not so shaky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just need to, now that I'm in my new like life, I need to stop sleeping in until like 1.30. And you can actually see that I need to um, like wax my shoulders then. Ugh, that's the that's the harsh reality that's really coming to life lately is body hair. Mm. Don't look. I don't notice. <laughs> you look so highlighted and beautiful. Thanks, babe. Your skin looks great. Thank you. But I am kind of love and So we could have done that a lot longer, but mm -hmm. I mean mm -hmm. time is money. I do one of those like Friday nights before I go out and then my makeup lasts like until the next Friday before I go out. And you really find it helps your oil? Yeah. Awesome. Um, I'm gonna go for, I hope you guys are gonna be able to see this actually, but here's my inspiration. Gorgeous. I'm gonna leave this hoe linked like here somewhere, or just like in the description hoe <laughs> box. I'm going for this hoe. Ooh, who is that? That's me, bitch. Oh, fuck. This is like last, last year, I think? I love it. Yeah, this was the first look I ever did when I got the... <laughs> Jeffree Star Cosmetics blood sugar palette, and I figured. Oh snap! It's I'll dip into that today. New Year or not New Year's? It's Valentine's Day. Look how gorgeous. Love it. Oh, yeah. And he's coming out with number two, right? Yeah. That's exciting. He's got a lot of stuff coming out this year. So we're both basically gonna do like red and gold cut creases, but mine's gonna be like a little bit more clown like because I want to blow up these lips and overdraw them. Are you Try and block your brows. Um, no. I'm gonna do. You not got that. lots of eye space though. Like you've got a I think I do, and then like I always run out of space, so. Look how hooded my eyes are, though. Like I, that's why I always have to do it so much higher. I hear that. Hey, are you gonna block down your brows? No. The <laughs> <laughs> one. No. <laughs> Don't judge me using my Rubbermaid bin. Okay, hey, whatever face. works, honey. It's so big. But Fuck the fan. I lost. I had a really great fan. Um, and they unsubscribed. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> no, I had a fan that I got at DragCon, but I can't find it. Meh. Uh, but it's white. Meh. Mm -hmm. That's what my brother used to say like all the time. Mm -hmm. And I just never really got it. And then it finally like stuck and then now everybody says it. But it's like, meh. Meh. Right? Yeah. Like that's that's how I see it. So I started with my Paris Hilton Prime and Setting Mist and I stamped that into my face with my big puffy foundation brush. And I do this now because it's like, obviously it primes the skin, but then it also like wets your brush like a tiny, tiny little bit. Mm -hmm. and gets it ready. Like it that. primes your brush. I think I'm going to be brave today and just do base first. I usually do base first, but I think I'm going to do eyes first because okay. I just got, I finally like joined the cult and got Anastasia's dip brow. Love it. For the first time. Yeah, yeah. And so I feel like I should start with my brows because then if I hate them, I can take them off. Yeah, I don't ruin the rest of I feel like getting my skin like covered is just polite for my viewers because I look like such a, a hot mess. I mean, it. like I've got some like blemishes marking it, but you know what? We're dudes. <laughs> what? You are trying to become one. So when's your um? When's Nada's next gig? Okay, so this is on it's Valentine's Day this Saturday. Um, I am going to do the variety show at Twisted Element here in Calgary. Is that this Saturday? The 16th. Oh, 16th. Okay. Yeah. Um, if you don't know, fair enough, my drag sister is uh, hosting a variety show every Saturday for February. And so she's requested that some of the Nuff family come to the Saturday night show, to the open show. So kind of like a, a Nuff family takeover. Who else is in the Nuff family? There's a couple of... Um, I think the way Fair describes them as heterosexual drag queens. Yeah. Um, and so like they're, they're like female? Um, great question. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever met them. Okay. Um, but I believe one of them's name is Manny Duff. Manny Duff. Okay. Yeah. And then there's another one which... I but, feel that. Um, I do know that Neil, um, Farrah's partner, his drag name, should he ever do drag, is uh, Lucy Duff. <laughs> That's funny. It's good, right? There's so many good ones that you can do. Loose enough. I was originally going to be Sheen enough. Sheen enough? Yeah, but then I thought not enough was a lot, but it stuck. No, I like it. It's like really easy to kind of like understand it. It's not one of those right. ones that like keeps you kind of like thinking for a minute. Right. And it's different. Double in. Mm -hmm. It's not the easiest to sign autographs. Actually, well, you just got to come up with something quick. Yeah. Right? Just like a little scribble. Well. Um, Stephanie painted that really great portrait of me. Yeah, yeah. Does she do that digitally or is it like, is it? Yeah, it's yeah. digitally. She, um, was like, will you sign one for me? And I was like, oh gosh, I don't think I have the signature. Yeah. So I, I practiced a little bit and then I signed it. I just wrote it nicely. <laughs> yeah, I would have just given like, just pretend to be like a dancer, you know what I mean? Like, you're like a stripper, how they always write like a cute little mm -hmm. like note. Like, I sure don't cook or clean, but I swallow love candy mm. or something. <laughs> like, that would totally be me. A little stripper gram. Right. In my head, I was like, you know what? All the Broadway actors at the stage door, when you meet them after the show, they don't really sign their name, they just kind of scribble yeah. on your playbill, right? They just so, spit on it, basically. Like, honestly, they're like, hi, yeah. as they walk out. So I figured I could do stuff the same, so I just talked to Livia. And I think it's hanging into a so. I still don't know if I like this color of dip brown. Which one is it? A uh, soft brown. Okay. So I think I might need to get a darker, or a lighter color. Yeah, yeah. But they were, it was so cheap, I would we'll just keep it. Get, um, get taupe. That's what I was told. Yeah. Someone told me to get taupe, so. Let's do some concealer. Mm-hmm. You sound like uh, that cancelled YouTuber I don't talk about anymore. Lar Lar. Oh yeah. Ah. She just says concealer. She does. Um, Alexis Stone's like little rendition of her. I died. I didn't like, I didn't know who it was at first. And I was like, oh, that, that bitch. That was good though. I it was it. amazing. I was um, like, and didn't even try to impersonate her, just like a, a picture of her, like of her fully crying. The gob of spit. <laughs> the gob of spit was just like, what sold me? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that whole video of her like trying to apologize is pretty brutal. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. Um, but I was thinking of why I started like doing boy glad. Yeah. And it was because of like when I first saw, like, before, when I started doing it, Manny was like really the only, one of the only boys that was doing it besides like Patrick Starr. Yeah. And now, I don't even follow Manny. 
So that was a mess. Um, Manny who? Exactly. No, seriously. Manny and you. But he was like best friends with Jeffrey and all that drama went down. Hey, right, 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 right. Um, I never, yeah, I don't think I ever really watched like Manny's channel. I only ever watched like Jeffrey's and then they would always hang out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so I started watching Manny like off of, because he used to be really good friends with Patrick Starr too. And that's when I started watching him. P Star? P Star. And this was before Jeffrey even had a channel, from what I know of. See, I just feel the brows look too dark, but maybe I'm just. Maybe they don't. It's just always awkward when you're not wearing foundation. Yeah, I think it's a good color. I have so. the taupe here, though. You Try it. sound good. Okay. Where did she begin? <clears throat> so what do you what do you use for contour? The 12 um, Cool Chestnut from NYX. It's just their mineral foundation stick. Oh yeah. And it's uh it's like 12 bucks. Mm-hmm. And it's all I need to live my life. Cute. So I just prime my eyes with um Page Really Pink Pot, a staple for Mac. The uh eyeshadow primer? It's like um I, I don't know what it's supposed to be meant for. Paint pots. Anybody knows, um, but I use it as a, most people use it as a, an eyeshadow. I thought, yeah, I just thought it was an eyeshadow. Print. Well, there's so many colors of it, right? So that's where I was sure because there's I have soft over. So the way I've been contouring my jaw lately, I'll like mm -hmm. like the point of it here, and I'll kind of like go like up a little bit so I have a curve, mm -hmm. and there's like some flow to it. Mm -hmm. Makes sure you got a great jawline anyway. Thanks, babe. Just tea time, you know. Aww. How long have you known? Farrah for? Um, surprisingly, only like two years, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. But we became like super, super fast friends. Um, it was funny because we went to, we both work with um, Ant Accessories. Yeah. And so we went to New York um, for DragCon, the first DragCon in New York. And um, we like, of course, knew each other, but weren't like super like, close friends yet. And um, that trip was when we were like, wait, why haven't we been friends forever? Like, we're just so... And like, what's the real reason? I just didn't know her. Okay. Like, I knew of her, <laughs> but I didn't really know. And you know, there was, um, like, she didn't wasn't really out at the bar very often. Um, I lived in Lethbridge, so I didn't really, like, know a ton of people here. Yeah. I knew Fendi, right? Or Devin. Fendi! Fendi. What's up, bro? And so that's how I was like, oh, this bitch is real cool. I want to be friends with her. I need to look at this picture again. It was a long time ago, I was trying to do it. Now oh, mine will definitely be like a variation of it because I'm not as gorgeous as she is, but... Don't say that about yourself. Well... You're stunned. It's tea time. It's tea time. Where's Tati? I'm serious. I'm not. I'm not this gorgeous. I'm really not. With a few more fillers and injections, we'll be there. Well, speaking of injections, mm -hmm. let's talk about these lips. Let's talk about them. What do you want to know? So, what made you want to get them done? You mentioned you've had them before. To be honest, like, I'm so into just looking like a blow-up fuck doll lately. And like 100% that's just like, it. like it's such a high for me to like, just, live that just look the way that I do sometimes and mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, living that fantasy is like, I don't know, my new high. It makes it easier for me to go out, you know? Yeah. Do you feel more comfortable when you go out when you're like fully done out? Oh yeah. Well, not even like comfortable. I just feel like good, you know? Because mm -hmm. I don't like drink and I don't like really party. So it's like, right. that literally is like what keeps me going. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I find like I, even though I know everybody when I go out, majority of people, yeah. I, if I'm just like going just as me with no glam or anything, I feel like it's easier for me to feel uncomfortable. When I'm there, like anxious or whatever, but the second I put on a stitch of makeup, I'm like, I'm that bitch, I found my way, you know? <coughs> Ooh, and what a way to feel, honestly. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna hold all this powder. <coughs> yeah, yeah. It's never been so dusty, oh my god. Do you think I'm starting to get the clown on? You may. I don't know what the symptoms are. Should we go on with MD? <laughs> no. So we do have, um, did you get some questions? I only got two, I think. I got like four. Okay. So we can ask all of them. We've got tons of time. <laughs> Why not? And mine aren't even like real questions. No, no Tia who asked them, but like... Well, that's okay. More. At least like, yeah, you know what? They participated. They did. And I mean, that's, yeah. that's the least thing. The first one is super... Um, Sexy? It's a, it's a talker. Okay. So the first one comes from, should I say who it comes from? Yeah. Let's drag her. Honestly, let's do it. <laughs> it comes from our dear friend, Perla Coddington. Yeah. And she says, um, <laughs> why isn't the cast of this filming more diverse? Why isn't the cast of this filming more diverse? I think what she's referencing is this, uh, the tea that has been spilled in this community. 
Okay, okay, okay. I'm ready. Ooh, okay. I'm not because I feel like I don't. I don't want to say something. Why like, is the filming on this channel not? No, I think she just is trying to play on the conversations that have been had about shows in our community that are diverse. I know. You know what? I'm the queen of subliminal messages, and like, you gotta ask, you gotta ask a real question, honey. Like, what's the question? What's the tea? What's the? Qu I I actually don't understand the question. I think she means. <clears throat> Uh, I think she just wanted us to get into, in our community, we've had been having this discussion about diversity in drag shows yeah. and drag performers. Yeah, yeah. And is there enough diversity or is it the same, you know, cookie cutter shows? Well, I don't know who does the hiring for the shows, but I see a fucking shit ton of diversity. Like, I see, yeah, I, agree. I see a lot of diversity. I see, like, drag kings, queens, I see straight people, I see hyper queens, whatever mm -hmm. kind of queen you want to be. I see it up on that stage, absolutely. Totally, and I find, like, um, I find, like, all the new spaces that are doing shows, I feel like they've, not like, I don't want to say clicks, but they've almost got like their genres at different kinds of spaces, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. I find um, certain places have more um, performers that do like different kind of alternative music as opposed to like top 40, you know, gay bops that people want to see death drops to, you know? Like yeah, there's yeah. a ton of different kinds of performers now. So maybe like there's like drag, but then like it's just like breaking off into its own little like cliques and niches, or like mm -hmm. is it... which I don't think is a bad thing. Yeah, like whatever. I mean, so like this this tea that's going on in the um, in the what should we call it the community, mm -hmm. the YYC. Um, we can't even really call it the gay community anymore. We can just call it like the you can say the queer community. the all inclusive community of YYC. Yeah. Um, like what's what's really been going on? Like I feel like maybe there's so many people doing it now that there's just like yeah some some competition or like people are just like wanting to get paid for their work and not like I just don't know where it all starts. Mm -hmm. I think it is um, for the longest time in Calgary there wasn't a ton of drag queens, right? Yeah. There was that set group that you could guarantee yourself seeing it, right? Yeah, yeah. And now there's so many performers. I think. Um, not that people are scared of the competition, but now there is competition, right? Like, you aren't guaranteed those bookings, you aren't guaranteed those shows, yeah. um, just because you do drag now, right? Yeah. You have to... Um, you have to put in some work. Yeah, you got to step a pussy up. Yeah. And so, I think that's kind of what's been happening, is now other people um, are coming up who are really talented, and they are getting booked, and I think people... I think that's awesome. Well, I think there's a lot of, like, you know, queens, too, that also, like, were lucky enough that they really got to, like, grow up watching drag race totally which really helps like i don't know helps a lot of people get like a really refined aesthetic for sure but um well on the internet right in the end at the end of the day people just need to realize like these people may have the gigs now these people may have you know all these opportunities and stuff but if it's something that you really want to do it's something that you're passionate about mm -hmm. and you keep doing it it's eventually gonna it's gonna catch up to you and you're gonna get what you want from it so right. paying attention to all the bullshit is only going to distract you from being a bad bitch. Exactly. And okay. what I was thinking, too, is like, I don't know about a lot of performers, but I know for myself, I never got into drag to make a paycheck. Yeah. Right? Like, I, I never and got so that's into totally it, it too. Like, yeah. to get the big gigs, to, yeah. you know, be the, the headliner of a local show. I never started it to do that. I started it because I loved makeup and I used to do a lot of, like, theater. So I figured... Like, it was a good place to go to have fun and express your just creativity and your femininity. I know, so I never did like it. A, that it's not a bad thing, but it's like these days, like, we don't even really go through that, like, no. growing up stage. It's more so just like they've done it a couple times and then all of a sudden they demand, like, they need like $600 for two numbers. And it's mm -hmm. like, I get that for sure. Like, you have to pay for your your shit, but it's like, you also have to kind of like... Well, and it, too, like, you you know your worth, right? Yeah. That's awesome, but also... There's, remember there's why 600 start. other queens in Calgary right now that know their worth too, right? And mm -hmm. it's like, are you gonna... What makes you different, right? I think, like, the best thing a lot of people can do in a lot of these situations, instead of, like, these long rants, instead of, like, these long, like, you know, subliminal messages that don't make sense, it's just like, just say that you're grateful for every opportunity you've ever had, honestly, and it's like, shit you not, like, something will knock on your door, I swear to God. But the more you kind of, like, distract yourself with, with this drama that... Like, like you're, you're not really not thinking productive. about your crap, you're thinking about the drama. Yeah. Like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna give us anything new, but... Focus on yourself. It is, it is hard because, like, this was such, like, a, or it is, it still is, but like it is such a it's such a tight community. It's such like a right. You know what I mean? It's a sisterhood. Yeah, sisterhood, uh, brotherhood. It's a family, right? Yeah. 
It's our chosen family. So, so I think you're right. I think moral of the story is it's just like, yeah, there's drama, yeah, there's like competition and everything, but... But I think competition is good. It betters, it pushes you to be better, right? Yeah, and it's like, if you think about competition and like a real competition, like, I don't know, I'm not like demeaning drag, but it's just like, we're still, not, we're, yeah, it's not that deep. It really isn't, right? Like, yeah. we're still, we're still um, trying to make it like, lighthearted and fun. And I don't know what I'm trying to say, but yeah, it doesn't go that, doesn't go that deep. Yeah, I think we all need to take a deep breath sometimes. Mm -hmm. And there's bigger things happening in our city, in our province, in our country, in our world, so we can focus our energy and face our friends and do that maybe. Yeah. But like, if you've got a problem with someone, just say it. Do you mean? Just say it. Well, and first ask yourself, really, like, is the problem them or is the problem your Me. point of view? Is it, like, is it how you view the world? Is it something? Yeah, I just, um, also I just looked up and, like, how gorgeous does your skin look like? Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's why I get it done first. Right? That's so beautiful. Because then the other, um, the other like, fantasy comes to life a lot easier. Right? When I am not trying to, like, boost your own horn because I'm sitting beside you, boost your own horn. That, yes, it is. I've, yeah. I've heard what you said. You know yeah. what I mean. I, every time I do my foundation, like to go out as a boy, I'm mm -hmm. like, how does, how does Malibu do it? Because you always look like plastic, and that's what I want to look like. I swear, you know what? It's like I was so all over the beauty blender for so long, but I started watching, if you've seen on Instagram, like that Mama Mama Mitchell. Oh. So his videos, and like he does that. Um, not the P. Louise Academy, because that's like, I guess, his old friend or something like that, Paige Louise, but... okay. The way that he put foundation on, like, Nikki Tutorials and Jeffree Star and, like, um, he went on their channels, I just, like, like automatically Studied started doing yeah. yeah. So he uses, like, a really big, like, fat, fluffy, like, um, packing, like, foundation brush, mm -hmm. and then, like, he's just, like, so soft with it, like, it's basically just, like... Well, you're not, like, I don't know what style you use, but it, like, shakes me to my core. It's not the highlighter, it's the setting spray and then the highlighter. Mm. You want to like wet it and then like put the highlighter over top of it and that makes it like glass. But I could wear a highlighter from the dollar store for sure and just use it with a, a good setting spray and it would probably look not the same but similar. Just a shiny for sure. Yeah. It's just about where you put it and how you apply it, I think. Yes. Um, so, I think that's good. I'm going to start on my eyes. Cute. Do you have a question? A follower? Oh yeah. Do I ever? Oh, uh, I think it's deep. Let's see. That one's not really a question. I know. One of mine was, how are you both so beautiful? Like, appreciate that, sis. That's not really what I'm saying. This one says, um, not fair that you were beautiful than most women. Thank you so much. That's really sweet. Um, from YYC Injectionist, Ooh, what is that. your um, next step for injections? Um, I definitely want to get like my tear troughs like filled in here a little bit so I look like less tired all the time. Mm, I do too. Yeah. I'm really scared though just because like they say it's like really painless but like just how it looks is like ooh, a little scary. Yeah. You put like this long needle like in the side of your cheek and like go do in you have your eyes open? I don't know if you have to have them open if you have to but like I've I seen videos and like Girls were uh, like filming themselves with their eyes open, so it can't be that bad. No, right? I don't think so. Either. Um, so yeah, tear troughs, and then I'm definitely gonna keep going bigger on my lips. Like I want my like bottom lip to eventually be just a little bit bigger, but like the shape and everything that he has like going so far is like perfect. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna go slow. Yeah, I love that. Um, I want to get just like my top lip filled a little bit. Yeah. Just because I find when I wear lipstick, I look like I'm frowning. Okay. So I just want it kind of yeah, yeah. plumped up a little bit, and then. Deep and that's and that's so easy. Seriously. Yeah. The way that he explained it when he injected it was like four soft, dirty pillows. Because if you look, it's just like boop, 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 mm -hmm. where all that volume is. But yeah. and you had like no bruising either. Yeah. Like the day of, it was like I had like a little bit of redness, but the next day it was basically all gone. It's amazing. I um. So it looked like you had an amazing time there. It was good for sure. Yeah, it was so nice how comfortable I felt because I was like I was going in there with like these pictures of like drag queens and like performers and stuff like that And I was like is this guy gonna like is this guy gonna think I'm like not crazy But like is he just gonna be like no don't do this I don't right. think you know it's right for your face, but he was very like open to all my ideas and like That's awesome. um From madly ambitious cosplay Ooh. Um, I'm finally coming to Calgary this year. Do you guys still want to hang out? I think this is a friend of Scott and I's from like a long time ago, but yeah. hell yeah boo, like we'll we'll chill. We'll do some face masks and the huge face mask and chill. Um not an ask, but such a big fan of yours. Your slaying of life inspires me to live my best. Thank you, babe. Um mm -hmm. I will echo that because you are so unapologetically yourself and that's so like the like, contagious. 
Thanks, babe. Like, I feel like when you're living your best life, I'm like, yes, I also want to live my best life like that. Absolutely. Well, it does start with the basics, you know? Mm -hmm. Are you getting enough vitamin D? Do you sleep enough? Um. I do sleep. Are you eating? I right? do. Honey, <laughs> sometimes too much. Honestly. No, that's how I feel too. Okay, I'm gonna pad my lids. I'm about to cut my crease. I lost the little brush I had with concealer on it. I'm loving this crease already. Me too. I'm gonna snatch it out. I'm a bit jealous I didn't do eyes first. I'm not gonna lie. So I have, I'm using the Make It Forever Ultra HD Concealer and it sets to a powder so you don't really have to like use a powder. Mm. I think that's just like some fuckery so I always set it with a powder but I like it to use it as like an eyeshadow, like a tacky mm -hmm. eyeshadow base. I am using a matte concealer, Studio Finish Concealer in NC10. I just realized it has SPF in it. Which one is that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The little tiny pucks. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I need to get better at, is wearing SPF. It's like, your skin is really important. <laughs> well, you need to like, have a balance with it though, because you also do need, you do need the sun to touch your skin. Oh, absolutely. I just want my face to be protected. I don't want any premature wrinkles from sun damage. But they say you, most of your sun, sun damage happens when you're young. Every time somebody says premature, I just think ejaculation. I'm not gonna lie. That's all I can think about right now. Ooh. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do my brows quick while that dries down. Well, or do you still do? You still I right should have actually done my brows first. I just like don't know what I want. You just got face. so excited. Yeah. So but realistically, it's like some days I'll actually like. I like to take my time lately to get ready. Like I'll be down here for like three hours, four hours, just doing my boy face. <clears throat> and uh, sometimes it just happens in like a random order, and that's fine. Because it's just makeup. Exactly. So I'm sure you get this question a lot too. What's up? Um, it's when people are like, oh, I just wish I could do, I guess it's not really a question, but like a statement. When people say, oh, I just wish I could do my makeup like you. I'm like, hey, it's just makeup. Try it. You don't like it. Wipe it up, right? Yeah. Well, the thing is, is like, I don't know. Yeah, it takes practice. It, it takes time. time. It takes like trial and error, right? I learned, I used to put it on on my days off. I just play with makeup, you know, before you go to bed. Try something in the mirror, then you know, go to bed anyway. Or, go. or you come up with something really good, and then you're up until like 4 a.m. taking selfies. I mean, that's the goal. Yeah, you're like filming in the mirror, being all like <laughs> cute and stuff, and some lingerie. Hi. Where do you buy your clothes? Amazon. Yeah. Like this is totally from Amazon. Okay. It's so funny. It was like six dollars and fifty nine cents, and it was delivered Prime in my door like a day after I ordered it. Amazing. I know. They actually have like so much cute like. Um, you know, like those like uh, strappy like leather harnesses and stuff. Mm -hmm. They have like so many cute like full body harnesses that are like thirty bucks because they're just made of like stretchy, like, strappy material. Yeah, they're not real leather. I just saw. Speaking of harnesses, yeah. I just saw on Twitter yesterday <laughs> this picture. I guess it's the the gay Atlantis cruise right now. They like do a big gay cruise on a Royal Caribbean ship. Fun. And there's this picture of them like at the outside amphitheater, and there's like easily like five thousand gays, all shirtless, all wearing harnesses. Oh my god. And then there's like a random circle in the middle because there's aerial performers. Yeah. And it just made me think of that. But it looks like they're like trying to like summon the only top on the ship, you know? They're all like standing around holding hands in the circle. It's no, that's totally what I would think too. I'd be like, where's the top? Yeah. <laughs> I should have used my paint pot to cut my crease because I'm not loving this concealer. I mean, it's doing the job. It's just really dry. Like, it's. Okay, all right. Yeah. She'll do. Why is this? What was the other question? Or was that. You said there was two? And that was. The other one was from Rachel. And she just said, you're gorgeous. She just said, you're gorgeous. Said, Thanks, Boo. Thanks, Rach. I had another one too, but it was literally the same as. Um, the other one, they said, do I have any more plans for more um, injections or more work done? Mm. And uh, yes, I do. I just, uh, I have to wait for this stuff to fully simmer mm -hmm. before I can get back in that clinic and stuff more in there. Seriously, that's how, that's how it is. You know? I love that. Gotta wait a minute, then you can go back in. Is there office on the cloud? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I drove by it the other day. Yeah. I was like, that building's nice. It's, uh, it's like the party that they had in there. I kind of like first met them. It was, mm -hmm. um, they have like this big room up top that like overlooks the city. Amazing. And it's like, yeah, it's super good to love it. So did you just know someone from there or did they reach out? Yeah, they reached out to me and then, um, yeah, I wanted to get some work done anyway. So here, there I was. 
with a needle in your lip shortly after. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go into your palette. Yeah, get it in there. And go with Tongue Pop. Tongue Pop? To start. I love. My favorite colors in here are Cake Mix and Tongue Pop. I love. So I used, to start out, I used Cherry Soda just kind of all over the lid. And then I went into Fresh Meat and Closer. And then I did Extraction, like almost right up against that line. And then I used a tiny bit of, and I'll go back in probably with Coma on a really small brush to really define that. And then Glitter. Love it. I love Glucose, the white shade. I usually use that when I do drag to like set my brow bone because I love like that really bright white brow bone. I love like old school drag makeup, like the really cut cheeks, the way too Like much. with that, with like the playing part? Oh yeah, I love that. I'm so excited I get to play with this today. His palettes are so worth the money. And they're really reasonably priced. Like, yeah, like 45, right? Yeah, like yeah. it was, it's so worth it. And now it's like the only fashion palette. Also because I have blue eyes and I find reds really make them warmth. Can you tongue pop? No. No. Sure can. I um, I stopped trying like a really long time ago. I tried to um, watch a YouTube video <laughs> and learn how to do it, but. That's so fucking funny that there's a YouTube video. Oh yeah, it was like this little twink being like, do you want a tongue pop like all this? I was like, yes, I do. Teach me. Teach me, infant. There, You can find anything on YouTube, babe. I know. I um, I was just looking up like gay porn just to see what would come up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And uh, like it came up with all of these like exercises on how to stretch your penis longer. And I was oh. like, whoa, what kind of fucking world did I just get myself into? Because there's like all these like crazy exercises you do and like guys that'll like use like, you know, coconut oil and like some guys use like avocado oil and it's like this controversy. Oh. It's my life. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh no, you're fine. Um, it's just crazy because like lots of people tend to think that men don't have like these beauty standards they live to. Yeah. Well, I have like I have to live up to both, you know, like the feminine mm -hmm. and the masculine, I feel like. My god. But I'm lucky that like I can look so sissy but then still be like dead. So, like, I love that. Because you're quite fit. I am um, I'm quite fit. Yeah. Bless your heart. Like I, you um, take care of your body. Oh yeah. I I do enough just to like literally make sure that I feel good. Mm -hmm. like, like you're not in there worried about like personal records or anything? Well no, I'm literally not even in there like, I'm not like bodybuilding. I used to do that so much. Mm -hmm. And like I was so all about like, yeah, like different different body group every day and like, you know. Very worried about that kind of stuff. Yeah. And it's just like, I started to realize like, yeah, you can be the way, there's nothing wrong with that and you can totally live your life if that's what you're passionate about, but that just wasn't me. Mm -hmm. I just want to be healthy. And like, just, there's no uh, way with those big shoulders, like, I was going to be looking this sissy, so like, I'm right. glad they taper down a bit. Yeah, I just do enough that I don't, like, yeah, that I feel healthy and I feel happy and then my heart gets beating. I'm also a server, so I walk. Where do you serve? You don't have to say that, I guess. Good old Boston pizza. BP's, oh, there's, there's a million locations. Yeah, I worked at... You know what, though, like, Scott and I, when we first got together, like, that was, like, our first... We would just go there all the time. The food is delicious. You would always get the Boston lasagna, and I would always get something. Well, I always get the pizza. But the food's good. I know the menu because I've worked at it. Like, I worked at it off in college. So it was just an easy fit once I made my decision, my decision to travel and follow my dreams instead of dying in the 9 to 5. No, I think that was so cool when you just like, you're like, no, I'm done. You know what? I, I love that. I love it when people just take the chance. I just realized that my mental health was like really not being good. Yeah. And I looked at my life and tried to figure out what it was that was not good, right? And it's not that my job was good, it's just that I was ready for to change. do something else, yeah. Yeah, I love that. I set really high expectations on myself when I was young. And now I'm like, whoa. So and you know what, it's, it's just, right. it's, the, it's a lot of the way, like, everybody in this generation was kind of... Mm -hmm. Not saying everybody, but like... A yeah, lot of people. For sure. Yeah. They were kind of, you know, a lot of expectations, for sure. Bestowed upon them. Mm -hmm. You know, I was, oh my god, did I just hit pan? <gasps> on the glucose? Yeah. First color I've hit pan on. Well, you know, in like 15, 15 20 years, like he's gonna, he'll have all of his single shadow or shadows out. Oh, yeah. He just I'm has sure to like get into it. It's insane how much his company has blown up in the past three years. It's amazing. It's cool to think, like, I did start watching his YouTube channel when it was like, he was like sitting in his old, like, 
apartment room there where yeah. he still just like his two dogs and like mm -hmm. he had like that taser gun in that video. What was that video? He was like oh, showing yeah. everybody what was in his purse and I was like, who is this bad bitch? I'm gonna go into um, Maybelline's Lemonade Craze and dip into Ice Pop. Yeah, which is, it's almost like a little more like um, coral. Um, yeah, like I remember when he only had like three liquid lipstick and that was Jeffree Star Cosmetic. Now, this is Mannequin. Yeah. Um, mannequin, Drug Lord, and no, it wasn't a white. I'm trying to remember his first three shades. Oh, okay. Mannequin, I know it's done. I actually am waiting for my Valentine's Day box, mystery box to arrive. I think it might be. What was that? Yeah. Time. What is the? Um, I, I kind of saw a post about it, but what was it? The large one was sold out, so I didn't get the deluxe, which I'm kind of sad about. Um, so it was $40, and it's just a mystery box of products. So you don't know what you're getting. But it, it equals $40, or is it? Uh, I think the, the value was like $75. Nice. Or $80. Yeah. Um, but I've been watching, I was just too curious what I would be getting. Couldn't wait. So I've been watching like uh, unboxing videos. Yeah. And it's like three liquid lipsticks, a lip ammo, and a highlighter, which is amazing. That's so much makeup, 40 bucks. Especially when you consider his lipsticks are 20 bucks each, right? Yeah. This is why I don't want like to have to wait for them to accept the order. Yeah, it's just ship already. He's so on top of his like shipping and his warehouse and like mm -hmm. everything, because like literally it's like, yeah, it doesn't take long. And like a lot of companies do uh, take their time. I don't shop a lot online for that reason. Uh, for that reason and because like I never buy clothes online because I'm so tall that I don't know if it's actually gonna fit me. Yeah. So I shop this stay to avoid disappointment. <laughs> and the thing I like about doing the eyes first is that afterwards you can use a makeup wipe and like wipe away the excess. I made a little boo boo, so fix it and then work it out. I need a little boo boo. Face. What's your least favorite part of doing your makeup? Mm, that's a good question. Probably, I love eyelashes, but and like I can put them on. It's just like it's putting them on. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, exactly. I can do it. It's just like sometimes, like no matter what, like I can just have like a little like if anything touches my eye the wrong way. Yeah, it's like down, down. I hate putting on eyelashes, but I love eyelashes. And I can like I can do it, and I can fit them on there, but just like actually like. And I can put them on other Thinking people. about it, it makes me tired. Yeah. Yeah. I can put them on other people, no problem. Easy peasy. But then myself, I just always have an issue, and then I just get frustrated. And I used to use, like, black eyelash glue for a long time, but I just can't because I always mess it up, and then I move to makeup, and I panic. Ain't that the mood. Ain't that the mood. No, and you know what? That's why I started, like, if I'm going out, and I want to, like, have a good night that night, like, it's just known that I get ready at 4 p.m. Yeah. Like, that's it. I'm having, like, a bath, then I'm down here at 5, and I'm getting ready till 9. Like, for sure. Mm -hmm. And that's, like, part of going out for me now. Like, that's the experience, for sure. Mm -hmm. Like, feeling like Mariah before we go. I live. Oh, I haven't even been sipping my tea. It's, um, it's cold, but it's still good. It is good. Um, I have Jeffrey's first palette. I'm going to use Confession from the Beauty Killer, this, like, Ooh. Berg, Burgundy. That's gorgeous. Deep in her. I'm gonna do eyeliner, so excuse me while I hold my breath. Yeah, no shit. You should see this fucking eyeliner on this picture. Like, we'll just pray. Just we'll pray. Pray, pray it out. No, I'll probably just really picking up my lash line. I'm gonna try. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, okay, we know she's cancelled this cap on D, but. Who? Exactly. Um, cap on D. Sephora for January. Their birthday gift was like a little sampler of Kat Von D Beauty. Yeah. And it came with a tattoo liner. And I've always wanted to try it because everybody says it's the best. So well, here we I wasn't are. gonna say no. First impressions. Here we go. Wow. It's like already so easy. No, I think like that drama ended a long time ago. Like I have like some cat hobbies. Like her bow and arrow liquid lip, that color is still like Your fave. not like my fave, but she lives in my makeup drawer. Yeah. Oh, I love like I still love this the shade light palette. Exactly. I just think you're not doing that. I know. I know. It's so crazy that the world has literally been brought up to like think of like these conspiracies. Like we're just like. Like, it's so crazy. Like, vaccinate. Seriously. Like, you can't bring like, peanut butter to school yeah. because of kids' allergies, but you're allowed to send your kid that's not vaccinated for whooping cough. Like, hello? 
so funny. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Part of the reason I'm gay. Oh, right? I swear. Do you want kids? No. No. You know what? And it's like, I, I guess I'll never say never because that could change. But For sure. At this point in my life, it's like, no, I've never really, like, ever had the desire to... Well, we're such kids. young babies, too, right? That's true. I'm still a child. How old are you? 25. Not by much. How old are you? 27. Yeah, you're fine. Everybody always says, like, well, when you're 30, you'll probably want a kid. I mean, I don't think so, but maybe. If, like, my partner, like, if I ever, like, settle down, if my partner really wanted one, then oh, I'm I wonder, bitch, it looks so good on camera, too. Shit. Yeah, like, this is probably the best I've ever done my head. And yeah. then I'll do the other side, and it'll look janky. Sorry, my life. No, that's seriously, like, I've practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced with eyeliner, but I've just found that, like, if I've got a really good look going on, like, I'm usually just gonna thicken up that lash line with black and not try to have that. Mm -hmm. you know? But if it looks, like, mediocre and it, like, needs the wing, then I'll, like, really try. But then again, I'm just, like, more so. The best thing about this is, like, this is my drag staple eye, just, like, dumbed down. A little bit lower. Yeah. Love it. But when I do drag, like, I'll cover my whole eyelid in that because my eyes are so hooded. Yeah, I'm really into that. Well, this should work out pretty good then. We're like almost synced up just in the sense that like you're finishing up eyes and you'll be working on skin. Mm -hmm. My skin is like so fast. And that's what I like about um, a lot of like Momo Mitchell's and like that P. Louise Makeup Academy's techniques is it's all like, it's meant to be like fast, but like good. Mm -hmm. And airbrushed and like. Well, and I, that's why I like doing eyes first now, too, is like if I'm rushing, I, you know, I can rush my face, but you don't ever want to rush your eyes and you'll look like you got like up, right? Or like, like a drowned, harassed rat. That. Mm -hmm. Very bad. I'm gonna take the color comb or. Oh, that's a tough decision, actually. Extraction from the J Star Bloodshed Palette. Oh, it's like a brush. I thought it was a felt tip. Ooh, liking that color? Mm. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. And this palette is so pigmented, that's what I also am obsessed with. Well, it fucking better be. It's fifth one. Fourth one. Well, like, you barely have to touch his shadows, and yeah. you get enough, right? So yeah, I'm gonna do, like, we'll do this, and then, like, the pictures that I take from the look, I'm gonna post, like, a little sickening brown. Yeah. It's gonna be all about loving yourself. Hell yeah. Um... I really love Valentine's Day also because <laughs> working in the restaurant industry, I know it's going to be a busy night. Yeah. And I love that. So. Yeah, hey, that's a fucking really good outlook. Instead of like, oh, it's going to be so busy. I'm so single. It's going to be awful. I'm like, no. Are you single? Oh, yeah. Oh, for the longest time, Farrah told you that I thought you guys were like Kiki. an item. Yeah. Like Kiki and Kai Kai. Um, yeah, I thought that was hilarious. No, me nope. too, now that I think about it. I'm no. Just like, no, that's like, that just. Never. Didn't work. No. No, we're just best squirrel friends. I love Farah so much. She's so talented. And uh, yeah, I just adore her. Sticks up for what's right, which I love. And so, like, so talented. Okay. I'm not talking about it. Say it about you, No, Farrah. I think it'll be really funny because we'll put, like, we'll just leave the long silence in there. <laughs> and we'll do, like, a little dot, dot, dot on the screen. <laughs> Notice how I didn't say pretty. You, please. No, I love it. If you want to watch, their video together you can check on the channel or click the eye that um does that work yeah <laughs> oh my god i don't know how to do my eye yes i'm so into these eyes okay. and i didn't even put glitter on yet this is the best part glitter glitter should i do silver or gold glitter i say gold then it looks will like match a little bit yeah that'll be cute no straws here baby mm -hmm. i got a metal straw so I cents at um, Bulk Burn. I um I ordered like a ten pack on Amazon. With Amazon. <clears throat> seriously, I need to stay off of it. I still need to order that bath pillow, baby. Yeah, or seriously, it's like eleven bucks at um, Shopper Shop. Oh right. Yeah. I have had one from the body shop for a while, but it uh, just wasn't very comfortable. God damn it. God damn it. Um. Okay. Question for you. Yeah. What is a hobby or like something you're interested in that not many, not weird, but an obsession that? Um, it's pretty open. I just have to kind of think about like. Day like to for day. me, like I, I guess if people would know about it, but like I love gardening. Yeah. Like I love plants, and I, I don't have a lot of them, and I want like my dream is to like own a, like an acre of land and just like be covered in plants and just like 
the pantomime of the gardening world. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, what? I, actually, I do really like to uh, I like to be out in the yard myself. Um, that's a good question. What do people not? Well, I guess like I actually do sew pretty well. I can, Ooh, I, I, can I can whip up a garment if I need to, you know, crafty like that. And you're a hairstylist, yeah. So do you do wigs? I I you? can, yeah, absolutely, for sure. Because I know me I, as I a drag queen, right? My, the thing I hate the most about doing drag is hair. Yeah, I hate it. The wigs. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Is like if if I wanted to do drag, like I need like hyper realistic hair for me to feel like that bitch. okay with myself. Yeah. So yeah, I get it. Sure. By the way, the glitter that I'm using yes. is um, Lip Cosmetics. Clay Cosmetics? In the color Creamy Caramel, size 3. I live. Lip Cosmetics is also. The size awesome. is like the how finely they mill it? Yeah, like the size of the glitter. Like this, I have. Oh no, I don't think this has a size. Oh yeah, well, that's disco okay. dots is like chunky motherfucking glitter. Yeah, that's like really big. Okay. Or I've got the stars. I actually might put a star. I'm gonna do yeah, just some gold. Some gold. Have you tried the Stila? I have. Yeah, I do. Um, I think that's the only time I like ever watched like Manny anyway. Because he had like the kitten come by or whatever. Oh, okay. So I went and got it after I saw how excited he was about it. Because I know that Tati wears it all the time. And I stand. I love the cosmetics. I never knew that for the longest time until I think it was a fair Yeah. Yeah. Because they're huge. Like, they're huge. Like, super well known in the beauty industry. That looks amazing on camera. I'm obsessed. We have been wanting to do this for a long time. I feel like I, I, to I need to put it out into the world that like <laughs> I've had a few queens which we don't have to talk about but they've like asked me they were just like I really want to do it but like I just can't afford it right now and I'm just like I don't I don't like charge money for you to come and like do these collabs with me mm -hmm. like, and then I was like so let that be known like if you want to come and like do this it's like come and do your makeup with me but you don't have to yeah you don't have to pay anything and I was watching yours and Beezle's last night. She like brings you makeup. I was like, this bitch trying oh, to show us all so up. Sweet. That was so funny. That was so cute. I was like, Melody doesn't need any of my shitty makeup. <laughs> no, I don't need gifts. Um, the uh, that extra is actually the stuff. Hey Visa. I actually like still use it. And I got yeah. it. I'm almost halfway out of it. I loved that video. We were just like so like bombed. Yeah. So stoked. It doesn't shock me. Or are you from that fact? And I, yeah, no, that's, I don't do that anymore. The weed? The weed? That's okay. Is that a weed? Is that the weed? Um, I do take CBD, which I love. Although this new stuff I've been taking has been, makes me really munchy, which is not the two. Probably has a, is there any THC in it? Yeah, it's yeah. like almost one to one. Then it'll give you a little bit of an appetite. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna start on my face. Finally. What I need to invest in is like to have a glass little palette like to put foundation and stuff in. Just use a plate. Yeah, you're right. Or a little mirror or something from the dollar store. Oh, you mean just to like... Yeah, just to like have like a little I, piece um, of glass and just like... You can do a piece of glass for just like literally... Um, I used to do this for in my videos. And I would have one in case somebody would want to use one. So. Um, but just like a little like painter's easel. Oh, okay. Right? And you can get like a little metal one, I'm sure. So I'm using the e.l.f. for this face primer. I'm kind of like James Charles. I'm, I'm not sure if primer actually does anything. I don't know if I could even. You do. You have to. I don't really, I don't know. Once you start like, I don't know, you have to try a few different like ones for texture. Yeah, and then I like use really the press it one and stuff. Um, like like dabbing with your brush really helps to like even out the surface and like the layer or like the texture of your skin. Yeah. That's what I find. Anything that's like, you know, meant to be illuminizing or hydrating or anything like that, like I find yeah, if you like rose dry. But most men need help with texture. Yeah. And dryness <laughs> too much pores. Yeah, me too, bro. And well, that's because I, I keep beating this fucking stage powder into it. God damn it. <laughs> like can why do I see injections? They can do a brow lift. Just like my Botox or Discord. Do you only have what do you use for lash? Do you have a clear one or only black? I have clear. 
Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do what you did, but yeah, this stuff. Not that I don't love it or don't like it. But it's just no. not, not for you. Yeah. That's fine. I'm gonna take a little bit of lash glue. I don't think I've ever done my makeup with this much light before. <laughs> that's that's it too. And it's yeah. like um like go to perform after, like I've done this before with things that are like on their way to a show. Yeah, and they're just like okay. Snatched the whole thing. But yeah, you get ready in the bright lights. You're ready for the bright lights. Yeah. So you get chestnut from Matt Cosmetics and whining. Whining. Lining my top waterline. And this one. The magic of editing. Mm -hmm. I love the smell of the face glass. I don't do cream contour when I just do boy face. Yeah. In your video this weekend, coming up, it's about your Legends. lips. Yeah. So they let you film the whole process. Yeah. So funny. They they were um they thought Scott was actually like some higher like sound. Like, no, this is just my boo. He's like so. He's like so. How did you get into this work? What made you to start working with biological women? Yeah, exactly. He's like, honey, I was just lucky. Who are you looking forward to seeing on season eleven? So it'll be cool to see Brooklyn. Yeah. So Brooklyn totally. Heights, because we've like, like we know her. Yeah. You know what I mean? She was here. And uh, like plastic, mm -hmm. whatever her nuts is. Like she looks cute. Tiara. I just hope she has a good attitude. That's how I'm feeling about Ariel Versace. Yeah. I have followed her for so long, and I'm scared that she's going to come out of the show and have a bad attitude. Well, we need it for the show. Mm hmm We need those people on the show, otherwise this, the show is boring. Exactly. We don't have anything to talk about, except for two in the boot. Like, this powder is just it. So, so. I do want to try the new Fenty powders. She came out with new ones too? Yeah, she came out with like eight different shades of setting powder. Oh. Which is really This will be like a hard focus into the last, you know, 20 minutes of the makeup. Yo, your eyes look insanely beautiful. They're getting there. It's gonna be one of those like, Ooh, what the fuck is she doing before she puts her lashes on? Mm -hmm. Always. Those and stuff, the Too Faced mm -hmm. Chocolate Soleil. Mm -hmm. Medium to deep matte bronzer. It's a classic on this channel. It really is. Mine's light medium. Oh. Okay. Is that what you had said? Medium to deep. Oh. That's okay though. I used that one. I was given it. A friend gave it to me out of their make makeup bag. So they said, I don't ever use this. And I said, babe, I will. And you just look back and you're like, up. Oh, Oh, totally, ah. yeah, I'll give it a shot. Hey. Don't show them how excited you truly are for it. Thank you so much. You know what? I'll, I'll give it a shot. Play it down, play it down. And I'm like, I have been waiting to use the bronzer my whole life. It just gives you that sun-kissed look, you know? We look gorgeous. Thanks, babe. Just like the look after, too. Like, I'm gonna wear that like, the huge body leotard, and then just put like gold jewelry. Mm -hmm. Like, all the gold jewelry I have. Basically. Yeah, well, you keep it on all day. No. God. I have to like. I have to go be a hoe, you know? Mm, okay, clients. <laughs> exactly. I'm supposed to go to the children's hospital after this to donate to their radio phone. So I'm contemplating just leaving it in on. Leaving it on, going in, signing it, up and saying, why not? See all my old co coworkers. Like, hey, boos! Yes, I know, I do look gorgeous. You're so right. And that's the best feeling, and that's okay. You're allowed to feel that way. You can go in and you can. You know what? Someone feel last those night said to me the best compliment. There's two compliments I really like. One, your skin looks amazing. Like, what a nice compliment. Yeah. You just feel like, oh, thank you. Shit, boo. Wow. I no. start to tear up. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? I was out of the day. Um, and then the other one I find is, um, you look well rested. You're like, fuck, thank you. I did sleep good last night. Because like on, on the real, like, I know I don't fucking sleep at night. That's no, sure. neither do I. I suck at night. I'm a night owl, that's for sure. I like that though. I like being kind of like alone in the stillness of night sometimes. Thanks, Derek, for letting me borrow this. Which one's that? Wifey. Is a thing. At the Halloween show at Cowboys, I was wearing a nude lip, and Visa came backstage and was like, "No, put on a red." She's like, "You can't see it. You have to put on a red." Okay. I've never used this lip gloss. So it's also from Mac. It's the Patrick Star Mac collaboration. Patrick Wu. You know where he got that, right? Ruby Wu. I have that in here too. I should have used it. Actually, I have Patrick Wu the lipstick. 
that I should have used. I love the packaging too. Let's take this off. Ooh, it looks like one of those little bullets my mom used to keep in her drawer. I'm just even gonna... always gonna have a good snooze. I love that. Okay, here goes this lip gloss. Pop off, sis. Oh yeah. Do you want to throw in a look? Okay. And then we'll film intros, outros. BRB. <laughs> Good set. All right, everybody, here are our finished looks. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. You look amazing. When are we going to see Nada out on stage next? Um, this Saturday, February 16th, I will be doing the variety show at Twisted Element. Uh, showtime is 10.30. Um, my sister, fair enough, that you've seen on this channel will be hosting. And then on uh, Sunday night, again at Twisted Element, is the 2000s Divas show. Yeah, yeah. Are you in that one too? I am in that one. Nice. So we've got some group members. I think I might be pulling out some Hillary Duff. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Let the rain fall. Right? Yeah, okay. exactly. My life. I love that. And Thanks. then on uh, February 24th at Twisted Element, Sunday night, um, for the, is it called Burlesque Follies? Yeah. Yeah. For the Sunday night show with uh, Mr. Terry Stevens and Fendi Ashley the Fierce is coming out of hibernation. She's gonna be there. She's gonna be I'm there. I'm gonna be there if she's gonna be there. Yeah, That's my drag crazy. mom, we're gonna uh, turn the party, pull some stunts, have a ton of fun. There you go. Don't wanna miss it, so hope to see you there. Uh, awesome. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. If you'd like to see more of my content, of course, subscribe to this YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for tuning in today, and we will see you all next time. Bye. Bye, dolls. <laughs>